I don't know if you love Facebook or hate Facebook, but in this tutorial, we're going to be using one of their libraries. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. This is a continuation of the performance optimization tutorials where we're trying out different third-party libraries to see how they improve the scrolling performance of an image gallery. And on this image gallery, we're using the new multi-column image gallery just to put more of a load on these libraries. And this one, we're going to be using the Fresco um, image library, which is supplied by Facebook. So we'll give that one a go. Okay, let's make a start. First thing I recommend is to go to this uh, website here, and it's the Fresco website, and it's got information about getting started, um, as well as about features. Fresco is supposed to be quite good for older devices or running on older versions of Android OS. It's supposed to be quite optimized for the memory allocations. And it can, it can do quite a bit of stuff. I won't get into detail on this tutorial. Okay, so click the get started. And the first thing we need to do is add Fresco to our Android project. Just the same as what we do with the other third party libraries. Okay, so go into Android and we go into our build.gradle. We'll just add this towards the bottom. Save that and then of course we need to resync our Gradle libraries. We'll just wait for that to complete. Okay, that seems to have completed successfully. Let's go back to the website here and select next. Okay, we've already, um, if you're going to be downloading files from the internet, you will need internet permissions. Um, for this image gallery, it's using all local images, so it's not relevant for this particular case. The next important thing is to initialize Fresco, and it makes a point of creating an application class to initialize it. Um, it recommends against doing it in, a, in the activity. In fact, it says doing it in each activity is wrong, so it only wants to be initialized once, and the safest place for that to happen is in the activity. So what we've got to do is we've got to create an activity class and then we'll initialize our Fresco in there. Okay, so go to source code. So I'll create my activity class inside here. It's new activity, new Java class. It's a new Java class, not a new activity. And I think I'll just call this gallery application and we will add it to git because I'm going to upload it for all of you to use it if you want. Now we want to extend the application as such. Now let me select, I'm going to override one of these methods and I want on create. So I'll just choose the on create. This is where I'll initialize Fresco. Oh, it's best, best to put this underneath. So we can call Fresco and let's initialize. And I'm just going to do this the context of the application itself. Okay, that's fine for that. Now we need to go into the manifest, Android manifest.xml. And we need to put the name of the application in here or else it won't be referenced. And there's gallery application. So that's done. So if we go back. So we've now successfully initialized that. The next steps here are creating a linear layout, simple drawing. Um, because we're going to be creating this simple drawing view programmatically an image view and passing down the um, uh, desired thumbnail heights and widths from the activity 
Uh, we're not going to we're going to follow a slightly different method of instructions here. So if we go to image adapter, now the first thing to do is on create view holder, we normally programmatically create an image view. Um, we're not using image views, we're going to be using simple droy views instead that are provided to us by the Fresco library. So we can comment out the code down below. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create our simple droy view. Very similar to image view. And again, we can get the uh, context from the parent. And now, same again, we need to create our layout parameters. And in here, we're going to again feed it the width and the height. There's a bit more space to display here. Okay, now we need to feed these parameters into the uh, simple draw view. And then we need to return. Oh, there's a little bug here. Okay, tidy that up. Now we need to return. Um, as we did before, the view holder. And we'll pass in our simple joy view there. Okay, now let's go into the view holder itself. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a duplicate copy of this view holder because there's going to be a few changes made to it. It'll get a bit messy if I just make the changes inside here. So let me just make a copy of this view holder class and I'll comment out the top part okay so the first part here we want to change this image view to the simple drawy view And we'll change this to ref, uh, reference simple draw view. And we need to change this as well because we're going to be returning our simple draw view. And I've either just get simple draw view, well, it makes more sense. And we return this simple draw view. And again, we're going to need to cast it here to the simple draw view. I feel like I've been saying simple draw view quite a lot. Uh, I think you get the point. We're replacing the image view. Okay. So that's fine for that. Now we need to go where we into the recycle view. So we need to come out now this code. This is for our own library here. So we'll just comment out this code here. And I'll just put it just above Picasso code where we will set up our um, call to the Fresco library. And to get the simple draw view, we can get it from the holder. And let's just get simple drawy view. And then we set the image URI, which is provided to us from simple drawy view. And inside here, we need the URI of the image file. So we can call it that, and then just pass the image file. And that's it. So as you can see, there's a substantial amount of changes, more changes that need to be made here in comparison with some of the other image libraries we've seen. But if, if this is a more optimal sort of um, performance in regards to 
memory consumption, as well as scrolling performance, it might be worth it. Anyway, let's try running it and see what happens. As usual, I'm going to record what's happening on the device. So, it successfully started up in the new image gallery. Let's try scrolling and see what happens. Okay, there is preloading here. So we've got preloading, we've got cache being loosed, and it seems to be scrolling okay. It's pretty hard for me to see at this stage. It might be slightly sluggish. Um, I'm going to have to run um, performance profiling code to give any sort of... Uh, more educated feedback, but the scrolling seems okay. Maybe slightly sluggish. I don't. It's hard to tell. But um, yeah, it seems okay. And until we uh, compare memory consumption, effect of the overall system, scrolling speed using diagnostic software, uh, it's pretty hard to say. But we've success successfully installed Fresco, and to my to my eyes and input, it seems to be working okay. Okay, um, I'll add some breakpoints just to highlight the changes that we made to implement the Fresco library. Uh, the first one was an onCreate view holder. This is where we created our simple drawing view object instead of the image view. Uh, on bind down here is where we call it. And now if we go to the view holder itself, we've got the uh, setup of when the view holder is being requested by the recycle view. Um, I'll just put a return here when we return the simple view holder, simple drawy view. Okay, let's run debug. Uh, remove this breakpoint, it's been left over from somewhere. Okay, so here we're creating our simple joy view. This is happening inside the onCreate view holder. Uh, we need to pass it the width and height of our desired thumbnail sizes here, so we do that in the parameters. And then we set those parameters in our simple joy view. And then we feed that into the view holder, which will be supplied to the recycle view on demand when the recycle view wants it. And as you can see here on bind view holder, we're actually setting our file to the simple drawy view. And here we're returning the simple drawy view to be assigned with the um, to get assigned with the image file. Okay, let's start removing these breakpoints. Finish executing this code. And as you can see here, this is the sort of effect you expect to see using the Fresco library on an image gallery. And remember these are all uh, local on the uh, devices storage. Okay, that's it for this part, this t performance tutorial. Um, you might want to try it Fresco yourself. We haven't yet run any um, uh, monitoring performance analysis code on these just yet, but um, yeah, it seems to. It's a few. Um, the biggest thing here is the amount of sort of code you have to change, where you have to create an application class if you don't have one, initialize it there. You're gonna. Uh, be using the uh, Fresco's simple uh, drawing view instead. Um, but besides those, um, the changes are quite quite straightforward and this seems to work straight away. Anyway, that's it for this one. If you uh, enjoy my tutorials and you haven't yet subscribed, just click that subscribe button down below. And that's all for this one. Bye for now. Potentially, I might have seen a bit of concurrency issues, but it seems to be okay now. So that's something we might have to keep a lookout and look in the documentation.